activist, ethnopharmacologist, and the herbal facet of the original Organic India crew. So this video journal today is about the liver, and specifically, well, about liver herbs. And I could tell you a bunch of herbs to take for your liver, and you'd say, oh, that's nice, that's great. It'd just go right over your head, likely, because you might not have an appreciation for all the wonderful things that your liver does. How incredibly crucial it is to have a really wonderfully functioning liver. And so I'm going to go through some of these things, give you some appreciation, then I'm going to tell you about some of the herbs and tell you about a little bit how they work. So to, to kind of like get the point across, the liver does many things. I'm just going to look at three. It's relationship to the blood. You know, the liver cleans the blood, detoxes, filters the blood, stores the blood, regulates the blood. Most of the blood comes out of the, the that goes into the, the liver, comes out of the colon and through the, the portal vein, comes straight into the liver. So all of this, all, everything that you're digesting out of the colon comes to the liver to be dealt with. So three quarters of the blood comes from the colon. Very important in that way. There's, it's also really important in terms of metabolism. Two facets of metabolism. You have synthesis and you have breakdown. Regarding the, the synthesis, almost all of the, the amino acid protein synthesis that goes on in the body is done by the liver. Like, and the, the proteins and all these amino acids are obviously key to so many things. Um, structurally, a, a lot of the, the messengers, a lot of the um, molecules that do a lot of work in the body synthesized in the liver. Liver also has a lot to do with both the, the carb and the, the fat synthesis um, in metabolism. It also helps, the, the liver also s helps synthesize growth factors as well as different digestive factors like the bile. Um, as far as the, the, um, the metabolism and the breakdown, one of the most important things that breaks down is the hormones. And so, yeah, you just have to have a really healthy liver to have healthy levels of hormones. We'll get back to that in a sec. It also breaks down all the toxins in the body, uh, drugs, things like this. Um, helps metabolize them, break them down, and then either make use of them or flush them out of the body. So these three things, what does that look like in the body or, or to you, to your experience? For instance, the hormones. A lot of, you know, if, if the liver is all about reducing or breaking down the hormones, then so many times when somebody has too many hormones, it's, it's all about the liver. So often, somebody might have um, hormone imbalance, and they will think, oh, it's something to do with my reproductive, reproductive glands. And yes, it might be true, but the root cause, it's more symptomatic, the root cause of that will be like something dysfunctional in the liver, something out of balance, something congested. It, it's incredible. Just, just look at um, Google high levels of estrogen, see what you find. There are so many different things that are caused when hormone levels get too high or out of balance with each other. And again, the, the root will be in the liver often. Cognitive function is another one. The brain is like, you know, two, three percent of the, the body, and but it takes 20 percent of all, of all of our oxygen. And so a lot of that depends on the quality of the blood and how well the, the blood is creating the healthy blood that can carry all this oxygen to the brain. Sometimes when, when you have cognitive function deficits, problems, dysfunctions, you can, yeah, you can take your cognitive function herbs, but often it's more important to take care of your liver. Another one is just energy. Again, so much of the energy in your body is carried by the blood, but also the, there's facets, um, cofactors in the blood that support energy production throughout the body. Again, low energy, can, you know, you can, there's many different ways, things that you can do, but often the root cause is the liver. Aging is another one. There's a, a saying in some of the traditional um, the, uh, medicinal systems that you are the age of your liver. So when your liver wanes, you're, you tend to, to age faster. You are the age of your liver. Remember that one. Another one is the eyes. Um, there's a, you know, a, a really strong link between the, the eyes and the liver. 
um, for instance, the jaundice, for instance, bloodshot eyes, things like this. The list goes on and on. And so many issues, so many dysfunctions, so many challenges that you might think appear in other places in the body, they're actually liver-based. So what are the, the best herbs for the liver? There's many. Some of my favorites are these, like um, kutki, picoriza kara. Probably, in a lot of people's books, in, in mine, the best liver herb in the world. Another one is uh, punarnava. Literally, punarnava means to rebirth, regrow. And it's fantastic at helping um, tissue and organs be reestablished in, in, in a deep terrain of functionality. The, the Latin there is barabia diffusa. Neem. Everybody knows neem. Great one. Turmeric, of course. Uh, another one is bumamlaki, a phylantus neruri. Or, um, Americus is the, the Latin name for that. That herb has a, an extra affinity for the kidneys as well. Another one is called Calmeg, Andrographis paniculata. Very, very bitter herb, very strong, famous for the liver. Around in the West, you have herbs like dandelion and milk thistle, gentians grow all over the world. Uh, Blue plurum is a, a great herb, liver herb in the Chinese um, medicinal system. And normally these liver herbs, they're all about, they tend to be like really strong bitters, right? But there's a couple that aren't, like licorice and shatavri are relatively good liver herbs. Like, this is another reason why shatavri is so great for reproductive system, because it acts directly on it, but it's also a liver herb that can work, you know, previous to that, and the, the root, the possible roots of the imbalances. So... These are some of the herbs that you might want to use. And there's many different ways that they, they work. You know, balancing the enzymes, establishing better um, actually structure within the liver. A uh, big way is increasing the endogenous antioxidants, like the glutathione and the superoxide dismutase and the catalase. These are, are fantastic. Um, one of the ways that these fantastic herbs work. By the way, triphala is another fantastic liver herb. Uh, I know people think it's a colon. For the, the colon, it is. It's also really great for the liver. So there's, there's about 30 reasons why these or how these herbs work. We'll deal with that in another video journal. And for now, here's your video journal on herbs for the liver and why take those herbs. Brought to you by Organic India and the Pacific Center of Fire. Thanks.